Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today we're going to look at the new Mod Melter from Mod Podge and Plaid. Alright, so let's start off by taking a good nice look. Uh, I left it in the package so we can kind of unbox it together. It comes in a clamshell. And um, unlike a lot of the other clamshells I've seen, this is an easy to pop open one, which thank you, Kathy and Steve, for that because I hate having to cut them open. Um, I also like the fact that I can actually cut off this tray and recycle it. This is a nice recycling option for me. So taking a look here, we have got a nice cord. Uh, it says in the packaging that this is six feet long. And then here we've got an on-off switch. Let me bring that closer for you. Okay, so here we have an on-off switch, which is nice. You can see it really plainly, and uh, it's in a different color, which I love. And then this is the control trigger. So theoretically, this is where uh, you go ahead and squeeze it, and then your extruded mod melts will come out the tip. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing. This is a hard plastic base, but this pink area here is actually a little spongy. So if you're holding it, it's um, much softer in your grip. It's actually um, kind of nice to hold on to there. And then your trigger actually goes on the top with your fingers rather than like having to try and do it with your thumb. So you get a lot of control by holding it in a power grip. So if you have problems with arthritis or fibromyalgia, this may be a nice alternative for you because uh, you don't have to worry about using just a trigger. You can use all of your fingers to help you depress the trigger. Okay, I went ahead and I put in a mod melt stick and I've had this warming up for about a minute and a half. And as you can see, it's ready to go. Um, by the way, I am using a hot glue gun helper's mat. This is a nice silicone pad that helps protect your surface. And I do have a review of that on my website if you're interested in knowing more about it. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and use the trigger and squeeze some out. It's pretty easy to depress. Actually, the barrel is a little wide. If it were a little less wide, I think I'd be a little happier just because it feels like kind of a big reach for me. But it certainly is easy to get a lot of material out. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and I'll put some in one of the molds. Whoa, hey, it's kind of dripping out the end. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. The mod melts melt so quickly and so thoroughly uh, in the mod melter that it does kind of drip out the end I'm seeing. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind and make sure there's something underneath it to catch the drips and maybe to get started, see how it's kind of already just extruding out the tip? See how that's just coming out on its own? So just something to keep in mind that it may squeeze out a little bit. But this is really um, easy to see. You know, unlike a traditional hot glue gun, this is actually a lot easier for me to look at while I'm working with it, if that makes sense. I can see down what I'm doing uh, very easily. Now this is, seems to be a slightly wider tip than what I'm used to in a hot glue gun, so it is a little bit harder to get into some of the little fine places, like that little stem there was challenging. But um, for the most part, it's easy to depress and it's easy to see. Okay, now, just in case you're wondering, you can also use other molds for your uh, mod melts. This is one from Martha Stewart. It is a silicone mold. And as you can see, you can use it here and I'll show you the after. And this is actually a homemade mold of a doll head, which it's pretty deep. So we'll see if I can actually fill it up. Okay, so here's something I just kind of noticed. It doesn't have a stand, but there are little feet for the mod melter. You see this right here and here? That's specially made so that when you go ahead and set it down, um, it sits and it doesn't roll on the table and you can still see the on off and then the green indicator light right there on top. 
So it doesn't keep us storing it tip down, but I think that's good considering that the Mod Melts kind of falls out the tip otherwise. So actually storing it horizontally like this is going to keep more of the material from dripping out the front. Okay, so now this has had a minute to cool and I'm just going to go ahead and pull off the strings and pop them out of the mold. It's still a little warm, but you can see my little donut here, which needs a little bit of trimming. And now the candy and see the tip for the Mod Melter is actually just a little bit too big to get in that little teeny area very well. So I think maybe I would start with that first and then draw the material up into the big part um, just to be more successful with that little intricate mold. And there's our little Martha Stewart one. As you see, it just pops out very easily. Okay, just something else I wanted to point out. Do you see this pink here on the tip? That's actually silicone, and so that's going to keep your hands a little more protected. Um, this metal part here, that's very hot, but this is actually cool enough where I can put my finger on it and, oop, no, I lied. It's really warm. It's a silicone cover tip, but it's still hot. Don't touch it too much. I mean, a little bit, but not too much, okay? All right. See, I'm a craft test dummy. That's why I'm supposed to do this. All right, as you can see, the tip is drippy, which is the only thing I don't like about it so far, is that it just has a drippy tip. By the way, you can use this with any mini high temp glue sticks. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's actually smoking for me right now. Just a word of warning, this is getting very hot. Even this part right here, this um, part that's coated, the silicone grip is nice and cool. But the orange part near the nozzle, this is very warm. And even the silicone on the tip is very warm. So just be careful that really, even though it's covered, keep your hand on the grip and try not to touch this area over here. So at the end of the day, I would say that this is a great tool if you like a larger grip, if you like something that's squishy, and mostly if you want to fill those molds, this is a great tool. It melts so hot that the mod melts just extrude out so easily. So if you're doing castings and those little kawaii's and, and making little molds of things, this is going to be a great tool for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this information helpful and or informative. And if you did, would you mind giving it a thumbs up because that really does help help out our channel. Of course, we would love it if you subscribe by clicking this little box right here. And as always, thank you for watching and have a crafty day.